this is uh, a little crazy. Well, anyway, we're live, so <laughs> it's it's so different. What are you doing it like so far away? So if you guys <laughs> give us one second, we'll play our theme song. Yeah. Live hey! from Orlando, Florida, <laughs> is this old witch. Finally, sorry about that little mix-up, but we're running on a totally different uh, system, and we're, we're really live, like literally in the middle of... Uh, of wires and, and wires not be and, able to yes. move so far. <laughs> and a monsoon. And, and a monsoon, monsoon outside, yeah. yes. So we are at uh, Summer Magic Fest. Um, well, Alex and I, obviously. James is on his little window box there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so what we're going to end up doing tonight throughout, we're going to broadcast live while things are going on here and grab different headliners and different people and just kind of chat with them a little bit, their experience with Sar uh, Summer Magic and all of that. So as you can see, we have our first person sitting here. Um, if you don't know who he is, who is he? Uh, you can... <laughs> I don't know. He's just some guy that sat down next to us. <laughs> but if you don't know who he is, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, we'll get to where he, you can find all his information. But he is a music artist, um, a pagan mu music artist. Um, he's fairly well known in Florida. I mean, pretty much everybody knows who you are. I get around. He <laughs> gets around. Um, he's actually my upline. Um, introduce yourself. <laughs> Merry meet everyone. My name is Alexian, and I am a pagan musician. Hello, Alexian. The Alex. Hi. <laughs> I just met him, and he's a teddy bear. He's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So tell our listeners a um, little about what you do, like what your music. What I don't do, huh? So uh, I have been running Twisted Oak Coven, my Alexandrian Coven, for over 30 years now here in Central Florida. We just celebrated 30 years. It's crazy. We're in Central Florida. I, I'm in the Orlando area. We're in Orlando. All of Orlando. Well... <laughs> I have people that come driving in from the coasts, but my house is the Covenstead, and that's in Oviedo, which is near UCF, oh, the University of Central Florida. I know. You and I must have crossed paths. I, I Forgive me for interrupting your intro, but I lived in Orlando for almost 20 years. I lived all over, too. I used to live across the street from where your convention is tonight, uh, over uh, on the other side of oh, okay. 436, Semron. And so when you said you were there 30 years, we have to have crossed paths. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I have CRS, though. You know, can't remember shit. <laughs> so I have a T for that. Um, some, yeah. So you must have been around when WRCF was just forming. Yeah, I think or, so. Or just after it formed. Yeah. Yeah. WRCF, which is now OPC, I think they call them Orlando Pagan Collective. Oh, so it got fancy. It got fancy. <laughs> yes. But yeah, um, we've been around for quite some time here and building community and uh, doing rituals for uh, the community as well as, you know, our own private coven as well. Right. But I also recorded my first album back in 1992, The Mother, The Magic, The Music. And as the computers and the internet caught up, because I was ready for all of this way back then. <laughs> you and me both, uh, I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With the music yep. thing, like it's all in the box now, man. It's just, <laughs> you just do everything in the computer. But um, yeah, so now that, uh, you know, I did my 30s and my 40s of working my ass off, <laughs> uh, it's it's time to have a little fun. So uh, things are paid off and, and um, getting back into writing and recording more and more music. Nice. Excellent. You know, I'm I'm quite familiar with your music. That's why I know that you're in my Spotify. 
playlist in my car. So Thanks, I know your music and I know that we must have to know each other, you know, from events and Avalon and Spiral Circle and all those places. I can't see you without my glasses because the laptop is like 10 feet away. But yes, you do look familiar. He's going to turn into my girl. Make sure he keeps his glasses on. He can't see without his glasses. <laughs> so um, I just want to do, do a thing with the chat. Um, so Adam, it's our topic tonight is not really so much a topic. We're live from uh, Summer Magic um in florida and this is alexi and we're going to have different guests on just pop in kind of talk about themselves um so it's not so much a topic tonight um so just explain about uh about a wonderful event that we're having and we're sharing okay, and creating well, yeah. new friends here it has been an amazing experience and um people should actually support and and come to these events because that you know community what's the full with, name of the so event though Summer, Summer Magic, Magic, Summer Fest Magic Fest in Fest. Orlando, and it's always in Orlando. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Correct. <laughs> so far. So far. <laughs> so far. How many years um, has it been running? So, uh, this is their second. Right this is second. Yeah. Second year. We're gonna we're gonna bring one of the organizers on. Actually, maybe two of yes. two of the organizers on. Lovely two, lady. To kind of talk you know what I mean? Things. And it's it's just been you know meeting such great interesting people uh, with such knowledge and such energy that it's 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 worth it you know to actually leave home and i'm glad to, that i have that i have left new york with with a smile you didn't miss anything trust with me the plumes that i no, didn't miss no. anything right? i saved some for you with those plumes that from from quebec yeah. oh you saved some okay thank you come to florida we have you know oxygen. this is the one week that i'm it's actually not week. in orlando orlando is still my second home i'll be there at the end of the month to work uh, tarot card readings at a private event and then back at Islands of Adventure in Lost Continent. <laughs> ah, cool. Well, you know, email me. We can always oh, get together for lunch. We will certainly do that. I'm sure we have lots of stories we can swap in private and here in public. So you said you're going back to music. Are you, do you have a mm -hmm. new album on the horizon? So I teach. Uh, private music lessons really? on the internet uh, online to people from all over the world and I've been doing that for a couple Where of can they find now. you? Shameless uh, self-promotion. The show is full of that. That's what I was <laughs> just going to get to. <laughs> well, it's the Lavaza, I'm not, guys. I'm going to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so my website is Alexian. That's Alex with an E-N. Alexian Music dot com. There you go. All it's right. that simple, alexianmusic.com. Mm -hmm. And um, my music education, I teach voice, piano, music theory, songwriting, lyric writing, all that stuff online. I am a Berklee College of Music graduate, triple majored from Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm taking all of my knowledge and I'm actually already in the process of creating online courses Excellent. on my website at alexianmusic.com with a Pagan nice. flair. Yeah, so pagan music lessons, basically. So can we finally get away from just that lessons. one beat, one beat, one beat chant? Don't get me started, Dave. Don't get me started. <laughs> and I'm, I'm very proud of him because he's supporting That's other great. artists. Oh, absolutely. He's actually, we have he's, to. He's in a, in a project now that he's going to support other ar artists throughout our community. So that's yeah. kudos to him. Yeah. Got a lot of irons in the fire, um, starting a pagan music um, concert series where other pagan musicians can come and perform on my website, which is a platform I built from scratch. Um, I'm also part of the Red Album. We can talk about that if you want, mm -hmm. um, which is a uh, pagan compilation CD with 19 pagan musicians that come together to support women's rights uh, mm -hmm. for reproduction. And uh, that album, we're very proud of. The CDs are hot off the presses. They're in shipping right now. And uh, we're debuting that album on June 20th. Congratulations, all the best of luck to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm very, very honored to be a part of it and with all these other amazing musicians, for sure. Well, you know what you'll yeah. have to do? You're gonna have to amp that up and then get a gig down at the clamshell down by Lake Eola. That's a really nice place to put on a pagan music festival. 
Oh, that would be really cool. We're actually going to be there. My husband and I are going to be there tomorrow because the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence are hosting an event at Lake Eola in protest for all the, you know, LGBT negativity and anti legitificoir <laughs> that's going on, right? Ooh, 25 um, cent words. So Our show just got classy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we're going to be there tomorrow. Um, I also, I'm just trying to think of things to talk about. I also just finished uh, a new song. I'm doing a lot of singles now, not albums, but the new song is called Orie o Corsama, which mm -hmm. is Latin, which means meet today. And it's also Felix o Corsama, which is happy meet. So it's basically merry meet is the song. And I have been blessed by many volunteer singing voices who lent their voices to do background voices for this song. It is a belly dancing beat overlaid with Indian Ooh, tabla right. drumming, and then a whole angelic pagan choir behind me singing in Latin. Wow, they've got an angelic right? it's pagan amazing. choir it's in impressive. Orlando now? Jeez. <laughs> well, no, no, no. The, <laughs> these are the volunteers, and they're from all wow. over the world, and they they record their parts and then email them to me and I mix it all together. It's actually one of the biggest projects I've ever done. 48 oh, tracks <laughs> mixed <laughs> and layered between all the voices and all of the drums and everything. Hey, that is ambitious, bravo. So, yeah, so Merry Meet will be out soon. It's done, <laughs> done, done. <laughs> I just gotta do the marketing bit. Right? Yeah, the fun part, right, getting it out to everybody. The, the, that's yeah, the fun the part. part. That's the worst part, that's the worst part. Well, I think that's it. We have a bunch of people. Absolutely. We're knocking my ear things out. So Thank you for so having me on. on. I'll find meet you. every guy, every we'll guy. get coffee when I'm in Orlando. <laughs> Excellent. Please do. Lord Alexian at gmail.com. All right. Ciao, Talk ciao. To you soon. All right. Bless it be. Awesome. And we have our next guest that's been sitting here. Very nice. I can't wait for her to come on. And I do would love to, well, even Alexian at some point, too, um, come to, uh, to come on in the show doing a regular show at some point. Um, do you want me to click, uh, click those? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm kind of like, yeah. well, this yeah. is like camping. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> no, I was prepped. I was prepped. There's just going to be a little. Well, in the meantime, while you guys are doing this, I love the phantoms that oh, are going you. behind you guys in the curtains. It's like Michael Myers or like some sort of ghosts behind uh, you. <laughs> well, um, the commencement of a ritual. Yes, yeah, so ri there right now, uh, the main ritual um, is going to be happening. So you might hear yeah, some drumming good. in the background. Uh, so I was trying to grab people in as as we go. Uh, like I said, we started a little bit late because of uh, wire and tech issues, but we're back. But we're here. So our lovely guest, which Hi. technically is has been kind of on the show. Um, Yesha Matthews, I'm so Hi. happy that I'm sitting next to you. Hi there. Hi. Um, such a beautiful person. It's nice Likewise. to see you. <laughs> it's nice to I'm see a, you too. Was sitting in the <laughs> I was sitting in the chairs over there, and I could hear their responses, but I didn't hear what you were saying, so I was inventing a whole narrative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. That's a creative use of here. time. What I like we, it. What are we drinking? <laughs> um, sangria. <laughs> It's from, mm. actually from the bar. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Hotel Sangria. We yeah. can't complain. I, <laughs> I'm certainly not going to complain because my sip was free. Thank, there you go. I have an old fresh one right there. You can drink with me. <laughs> Um, so we, well, we introduced you, but introduce yourself. Okay, Who well, you do, what you do, whatever. I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I'm dressed as a bat, which you will never see again, but I'm, because I actually don't ever dress as animals ever socially, but I, um, I'm in the ritual tonight. I'm actually invoking the spirit of the bat because part of our work here is to call attention right. to endangered species. So I'm dressed, I'm bringing bat energy. Um, Wait, is that why we got those little chips? Yes, that's oh. why you got the little chips. We are working with the turtle, the panther, the Florida panther, oh, the, butterfly. the bat, the butterfly. And the butterfly. Oh, endangered, okay. mm -hmm, endangered pollinators, endangered sea creatures, oh. and endangered no, panthers, What's the Florida specific? Panther. Specific name of that and bat only because I love pugs and I have a pug named Gemma and this particular bat in Florida, they just look like flying pugs. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> I don't 
I don't know, but uh, I don't actually know the genus and species name. I didn't know there was going to be a science quiz. <laughs> Bill Nyes is on his way next, so just stay soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll have to ask him. Um, actually, you know, Priestess Reina might actually know because she's a scientist like that. She knows things, but she just said, "Would I? Would I invoke?" The endangered. It's a cute bat. bat. It's a really cute bat. And I did look bat. it up. Thank you. It is cute. It is cute. And I love pugs. So cute. They're little, little squishy faces. faces. I know. Mm -hmm. Gemma. What's your pug's name? <laughs> yeah. Gemma. Stop it. Stop it. Does she, she does. wear outfits? She's a supermodel. She gets paid of for course it. she does. Does she have her she own does. Instagram? <laughs> Give it to me. At it what? is Gemini Pug. <laughs> Kill me now. Already I'm in love with this pug, and now you're going to have a bunch of middle-aged ladies all following your pug and talking about her all she, day long. She's begging for it. She's begging for it. She models for a brand called Sassy Wolf. Go have fun looking at her Sassy pictures and her videos. Wolf. They're you're hilarious. Kidding. I love this. <laughs> More I shameless self-promotion. <laughs> no, you, you have something. so. This is so exciting. Well, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you guys yeah, for having me you. for this little minute before I go into yeah, ritual. So good, Alexander, yeah. I was thumbing through your book earlier. Wow, what a fantastic, exciting life you've lived. Oh, and I you. loved reading about oh. you. And I'm going to get a copy of your book. I love Lady Ray, um, Rhea, Rhea yeah, yeah. in New York. I, we've been corresponding well, they're online. They're currently for a unavailable, long time. but I, I'll save a copy for you. Oh, they're already. Wow, yeah, so fast. Yeah, because I'm switching publishers. Oh, okay. Well, please, I'll I'm reach out to you. Heading towards Schiffer. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, great. So, well, so. I will, I'll send you a note to get a okay. copy because okay. I loved it. Thank um, you. Yeah. Do you, do you have any books out? Well, I'm about to publish uh, like four books, actually, like my four. whole body of work. I just, wow. I'm a tourist. I saved it all up <laughs> and now I'm publishing all of it. Wow. Um, I have a book probably coming at the end of the summer called Priest, The Priestess Maxims, 59 uh, Points for training the mind to sacred service. Oh, and it's a, um, a book that's based on the Tibetan Buddhist Lojong teachings, which I'm a Tibetan Buddhist Vajrayana practitioner. And there's these 59 points that you follow to train your mind to the Dharma so that your, your thought process is correct. And so I adapted that model and started to create um, this book and I've been working on that book for 10 years and now wow. it's ready and I've got Vicki Noble is going to be writing the introduction nice. for me which you she's see, one of guys, my long time you heard it mentors. first here on this old yes, witch this is my <laughs> official okay, announcement nice. exclusive <laughs> yeah so there's that that book is coming and then I also um, am going to be teaching the um, and releasing the, the contents of my two year Sybil training program which is 22 different forms of divination wow Nice. So that's what I've got coming. But I'm the priestess of the Mount Shasta Goddess Temple. I have lots of women in this community here in Miami and Orlando who are part of our temple. And um, so they invited me to come and present. And I came last year and this year. And this event is incredible. Yes, I love this is. community. No drama. Completely no. great. And we're missing, we're missing a key component, which is Evo Dominguez Jr. Yes. I love him to pieces. Yes. And and you know, unfortunately, he cannot be with it, with us, but he's in spirit. And uh, I already spoke to him, and he's he's just overwhelmed with such great outburst of you know support and 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 you know for him. And but he'll be back. And even when he was in his recovery, he wrote a whole meditation and sent it so that we could use it in the ritual tonight. Oh, so that's his kindness. This is his kindness. Yeah, That's he was awesome. incredible. He's been such a yes. great supporter he's, he's of this. Well, I have to go into ritual, yes. but I just want to so pop much. on Thank and you, say hello. <laughs> Thank you for having ciao, me. Ciao. I'm going to go follow. I'm going to go follow Lil Miss Sassy Pants. <laughs> 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 Thank you. So this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah, yeah grab, grab okay, Trish if we right. can. Yeah, Trish. Um, so we were just going to be grabbing people. People are walking through. They're going into the ritual. If, you know, and see who we can grab. Well, I dare you to grab anybody. Really, we anybody. We just, have this young like, man just here. Grab, just grab, just grab anybody. anybody. We have this young man here. Make them talk to us. <laughs> Come sit down and talk yeah. to us live. <laughs> Wearing his Norse shirt. I could tell. So we just grabbed somebody. All right. Oh, and now we. Oh, all right. Woo! Look at this. Who's this? Who's grab. this? <laughs> so who is this? Oh, here. 
Um, you guys want to split one so you both can hear? Oh, there's two They're people. Clean, they win this. Yes. There's we won't be able to see Trish because she's. You're good. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing it. He's doing it. It won't work that way. <laughs> Alex, you're going to knock everybody off. Oh. Uh, there's uh, <laughs> if Trish leans yeah, in a little Trish bit, we can see like, her. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. There she goes. Okay. There, we, there we go. So introduce yourselves. We'll, we'll start with this, this young man. Hi, I'm Dennis. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. <laughs> what do you do? Who do you, who are you? Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm the high priest of Covenant Albion Spirit in uh, the Jacksonville, Florida area. Jacksonville, right on. Great. Yeah. yeah. I love Jacksonville. It's like one of the like real cities in Florida. <laughs> yes, it's the largest. <laughs> that's it's sure. got brick buildings. That's that's what wins me over. I like I like Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, so I'm Trisha Parker. I'm actually Dennis here's my high priest with Albion Spirit Spirit. Um, but his wife Bobby Joe and I and Lake Reyna have started a uh, festival here in Orlando, which have you already mentioned this, We right? did, yeah. Okay, yep. yes. Yep. So we're Tell them about it as much as you as can. As much yep. as I can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, That's it, why you're it's here. a great festival because uh, the three of us, we call ourselves the Triple Butterflies, but I have an outdoor event in North Florida, and Bobby Joe has a, an outdoor event in Central Florida, and Raina has an event in South Florida, Miami area. Um, and they're all outdoor events, and we were sitting around one day, and, and Dennis was there. He's, he was a catalyst, a huge catalyst. He says, you know, we're all in Florida, so why don't we do like a, a hotel event in the summer when there's no paid events going on because, you know, it's just so flipping hot around here. So we're like, let's give this a try. So last year we started with our first, um, our first year, and this is our second, and we've doubled attendance. I think we've doubled uh, the vending room. has just been fantastic with sales. So cool. We're about to have a huge environmental um, based ritual. Uh, I don't know if Yoshi had talked about that already. She has. Uh, no. Or no. Okay. So we are going to be honoring um, species that are. Oh, yes, she did. Yes. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> no, but you could repeat it. I can repeat it. No, I'm super <laughs> excited um, because, you know, we opened with, with honoring that I'm holding the uh, medicinal plant spirit for this ritual. My partner, High Priest uh, Eric, is actually holding the the vessel, the the avatar of Panther, which I'm so excited. He's in a full body suit, y'all. He looks Whoa. sexy as hell. Oh, there he is. <laughs> we gotta get this on camera. We can't let him walk by. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like on. wrangling cats. Hey, get your mask on. We're gonna show. <laughs> the, is, yeah. Let the world cat. show. He looks so he looks amazing. I don't know how you're gonna get a full body in here, but. Can, uh, well, you can get in front of us. Me, <laughs> he can behind, crawl behind. behind I'm going to get oh, out. Here he comes. Hold on. Here he comes. Oh, go over here. Here he over here. <laughs> Let's see this panther costume. Panther, take it. Let's say hello. Oh, right on. Right. There he goes. Take your, hello. Take your, take your thing off. Oh, you want to. I really you want do. I want you to stand up and feel like you're out of the chair. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad we have a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Show your tail. <laughs> Thundercats ho. So much for this. Absolutely. So much for the surprise. <laughs> Only the, for this old witch. <laughs> I'm going to move um, Hold on, let me get my Benadryl. I'm allergic. <laughs> but, so yeah, we just wanted we wanted to just, just introduce yourselves so, so that you can get it out. All right. Um, well, one thing, Dennis. Yes. Dennis is his involvement for many years in the ATRs as well. You know, are very uh, diverse in many systems, and I just wanted to include that because he's a he's an interesting uh, gentleman who I bonded and a friend. Yes, thank now. you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. I'm a guard, I'm, can I say that? I guess I am. I'm yes. a Gardnerian high priest. We're a Gardnerian coven. And uh, I'm also a uh, IFA initiate. So, uh, I'm, and I'm very honored to be able to be on. Well, Is there any place people on? can thank research you, you and your work and, and uh, your covens? You know, worthwhile. Oh, we do have a Summer we Man do Man have Man. a website. This is about Summer Man, but we, yeah, my coven has a website, Coven Albion Spirit. There you uh, go. Org. So uh, 
find us on there. And uh, thank you very much. And I'm I'm going to get in here and uh, help you, out. You, so thank, thank you. Thank you. Right. Awesome. Do you want to talk? Yeah. I really think. Anyway, introduce yourself. Your work. Work. Yeah, you know, what you do. do. My, my name is Eric you Proud the, uh, the yes, land at night. I, I do the I do proud the <laughs> land at night. Uh, mostly unseen, but because <laughs> our habitats are getting closer, you might get a glimpse of me. If you see my yellow eyes through the trees, allow the adrenaline that flows through your body to remind you that you're alive. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> no. But I am also a Gardnerian high priest. Uh, initiated actually under um, Dennis and Bobby Joe, that the coven there. That's who I was initiated through. And I've been in the, uh, the craft for several years now. And Trisha Parker, who you just spoke with, is my partner and my high priestess in our coven. So um, so it's really a, a good fit. And it's a really, nice, really nice tight knit. Yes, Same. it is a very tight, tight knit great group, people, and, all it's, of them. and it's a beautiful, wonderful, great beautiful family, family. Here. beautiful, great family. family here. I'm very proud to be here um, to support not only the event but making new friends among them all, both human and animal. So it's it's a great experience. Thank both you, human and animal, as yeah, you said. both human and animal. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Awesome. All right. So Thank go ahead. So go much. back. I am going to go gonna back. Get ready for yeah. that. Yes, they have I hear my calling, and I hear my calling. There you so go. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being on. Do you want to switch? Over? <laughs> sure. Tonight we're playing musical we're, chairs we're, on we're this old witch. Yes. Da 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 um, <laughs> just anybody, just would you hit, <laughs> just grabbing it, grabbing anybody. Um, they're all in. Um, we'll see what he. I saw him waving to somebody. Um, well, in the meantime, why don't you fill us in on what you've seen? What's gotten your attention? So, I mean, I, you know, it, it's a it's a really nice, comfortable fest. It's different from from other ones, I would say. It's not right. so convoluted. They are still new, so that's kind of part of it. It hasn't been tainted yet. <laughs> so, um, fingers but, crossed, it stays kind of right. Virginal. You know, it, it, it's it's small um, but big at the same time. Um, lots of different classes. Good on you. Um, yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, lots of different classes and um, just different things going on. Different rituals. What class got your attention? Uh, none, because I didn't even go. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> too so, busy working. So, I too, know. too busy working. I didn't even. Uh, well, I went to Alex's. I mean, enjoy. Well, he was my yeah. IT guy. You know what I mean? Um, at the end, uh, he was my IT guy. But but it was just lovely uh, individuals that you know uh, we participated. It, it, it cohesively worked uh, for you know a great event, and my class was phenomenal. I I felt so welcome and so loved. And supported by all of them, so we have the uh, you know, we have the the uh, commerce the uh, the marketplace the marketplace and then and then the classes uh, itself. So they're now the starting the ritual soon, and we have this lovely letter, lady Jennifer, who I Hi, picked Jennifer. up a crowd. She, Her energy is is just on point. It's just amazing. She's one of the drummers for the event. I'm actually going to be the chesses. So okay. Water. Oh, you see, so they're they're actually doing a diversity with with the uh, ritual. So you're doing, you know, more. So we're gonna we're going to be cutting, um, measuring the yarn and tying a piece of yarn around everybody's wrist. Okay. So there's one person. Speak who spins, up a little bit. There's one person who spins the yarn. Uh huh. Another person who measures it, and a third who cuts it. Right. So you have clothes. Okay. I guess it's the, the moray. Is that oh, how you say it? Three fates, yeah. Yeah, nice. the three fates. So yeah. Clotha, Lachesis, and Atropos. Oh, wonderful! And of course, I had to be one because I I used to, I had three all black chickens named Clotha, okay. Lachesis, and Atropos. So. <laughs> Which fate are you? I didn't hear what you said in the beginning. Lachesis, the measurer, oh. the allotter. The allotter. <laughs> Which is it's the actually pieces. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I know um, the other festival that. Is involved with the same organizers. I think it was during Samhain. Their festival during Samhain. I could be wrong, 
but they also had the fates there as well. So I'm wondering if they're carrying it over to the other festivals as a thing. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know. Very I'd, I'd have to ask. I'm not um, sure, yeah. but so uh, that's pretty cool. So, are you excited? Do you want to introduce yeah. yourself and oh. to the public? Sure. Um, my name is Jennifer Martinez, and I came down to Summer Magic Fest to, um, to teach some yoga in the morning. Oh, oh, alchemy, yoga. alchemy yoga. Alchemy yoga. Alchemy yoga. Yoga yes. alchemy. Yeah. Can you explain that a little bit? Because we were all a little that's like interesting. Oh, like, what is that? Okay, so everyone. If it, I would like to say let's bring back some of the spirituality into yoga because it's been kind of taken over and made this gym exercise. Oh, I is, support everything you're saying 1000%. And it's fabulous. Like, it's great, you know, to get out there yeah. and move, but also yeah. there's so much. There's so much. And it's such an old tradition. It's for like 5,000 years since the text go back. So, anyways, I'm. I'm slowly trying to bring this back and uh, yoga alchemy so the idea is you know when you're in, when you're in, you, you notice that all the poses have these names they're either named after deities or sages or animals and the idea is you know like the, the transformation comes when you put yourself in somebody else's shoes right mm -hmm. so here you are you know all of a sudden I am enacting Hanuman, you know, the, 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 the monkey god who was kind of mischievous and sure. he, was, he was very devoted to Rama and he, he he because he had so much faith uh, Shraddha, I believe it, I, I mispronounced everything but the, the idea of faith he, he was able to overcome his and leap over the sea and rescue Sita for Rama, right? So there's like you put yourself in all these different positions so that you are literally taking yourself out in the context of your normal life and seeing the world from somebody else's viewpoint. Wonderful. It's like bringing the myth back yeah. to the stories back to these no, poses. When, and when you say yoga, alchemy, alchemy, yoga, it's like the transmutation of spirit while doing exercises. Well, and you do too, because the, like, if you breathe, you do yoga, right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the most important things, is to bring your breath into your body. And that, that is physiologically, the breath changes. Correct. Right? Correct. And that yes. changes your consciousness. So Absolutely. The, and you could achieve a higher consciousness with, with yoga as well. You know, that's the beauty of it. It's, it's a wonderful, you know, ancient uh, exercise that, you know, you should all practice. And I think it's important to bring it into the metaphysical and neo-pagan circles and communities to get everybody Correct. to create that bridge between the body and the spirit and the mind. I, I really support what you do. I got certified in yoga years ago so that I could bring that bridge and that message into the events that I used to frequent a lot and it, in the beginning it was met with a lot of resistance I think people yeah, liked yeah. the idea of yoga because it looked mystical but they didn't really want to do it and what I wanted to start to shift the percept like the perspective on was stop spending so much money on accoutrements and start investing in yourself you, your your temple has to be healthy you know, back then I used to make the funny joke of we don't all need to look like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. That's not the purpose of yoga. However, if it's a byproduct, no. wonderful. But it's so that when you go and do your metaphysical work, your body, your mind, your spirit, or they, they all know where to meet at that one place. Oh, go, she's got to go. 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 Oh, <laughs> They're starting their ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so Jason. much for coming. Of Thank course, you. I, I, you <laughs> caught me with your smile. You're a wonderful lady. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you, no, thank you for coming thank on. Thank you for this old witch with <laughs> Jennifer. That's great. <laughs> so, no, about yoga, yes, I, I, I agree wholeheartedly with, with uh, what you say, um, James, is that uh, you, one, of, one of the things that I saw today is uh, Sting. And Sting is a practitioner mm -hmm. of yoga for so many years and he is he looks he's in I think late 60s early 70s he's I a think. Buddhist too. and he's a Buddhist as well but 
he does yoga and he looks phenomenal. He, uh, it's just amazing. And that's, that's actually mm -hmm. dedication. Yeah, that becomes the, the reward, you know, the, the byproduct, the physical yeah, that part. That becomes the reward. He, he, they were showing an old movie of his back in the 80s or 70s and then um, him now and it, it just a phenomenal his, his right. just silhouette is so uh, you know posed yeah. with, with strength still it is wonderful it's and you know it shows you know I don't know if everybody's got the, mm -hmm. the full commitment to that but especially in our communities it, it's an important reminder that you really really do need to be not not physically fit like an Olympiad, but you know, you need to be no. strong no, physically yes. to do spiritual Within work. Yeah. Correct. And and it's it, you know, combining both the yo yoga mm -hmm. and meditation actually you you're you're killing two birds with one stone. That's so, not very you know, Buddhist of you. Just, just doing <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, not very Buddhist. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> A wickaboo. I'm not a wickaboo. Like like Rhea would say, would tell me. I'm a I said, okay. Lady Rhea, love you. If you we see, well then you can have the slant of. I'm grabbing somebody. Oh, we have someone here. Okay. And she's actually been on the show before. So. And she looks wonderful, beautiful. Let's see who is it. I love, love the surprise. The element of surprise here. Hello. Hello. The element of surprise. They're, they 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 clean. Oh. Okay. Just give them a good lick and then so, stick them in your ears. They'll be cool. Yeah, it's it's the, yeah, it'll be fine. This old witch. That's James, our, our co-host. Hello, James. Uh, I think we met out. a bit before, maybe. Maybe James was on when I was on. Anyway, it's possible. Hi, I'm, I'm oh, Sarah. Sarah yes, Deputy yes, Weird. yes. I remember. Yeah. Yes. You look fantastic. Yeah, general. Love your oh, hair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's about to all disappear. So oh, we is this this whole Venus and Leo Why? thing? You're gonna transform yourself? Um, so I'm actually starting a really in-depth, 300-hour, year-long yoga teacher training program, and so I've decided, oh, as an offering and as a sacrifice, I'm shaping. There you go. Because that's a normal all right, thing that bravo. people do. Bravo! No, congratulations. Wow. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. New beginning. That's commitment. That yeah. is commitment. <laughs> yes. That's new good. beginnings. Yep, here at Wonderful Summer Magic, we've been having a great time all yes, week, right? Yes, Y'all been having yes, a good time. Yes, definitely yeah. creating new friends here. Sorry, you can't be here with us, uh, James, because that would be amazing. I'm there in spirit and year. through the power of uh, in spirit the internet. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, hail internet. <laughs> so, um, anything exciting going on for you? Coming up um, shaving your head. <laughs> mostly, mostly just I'm I'm currently in a taking time for me, reconnecting to my personal practice. Um, you know, kind of deciding where I'm going. You know, that alone forward, right there so. can be like a three hour long discussion and topic about how important that is. And I find that nobody tells you, hey, go sit, go sit this one out and go rest. You all of a sudden get this like incredible wall you hit and you think you're having a nervous breakdown, but really what it all is is Hey, you need a. I need a breather. <laughs> how have you been? Absolutely. How yeah, have you been? A... Uh, besides going for the yoga training and cutting off your hair, what other what other experiences led to you realizing you've got to retreat and go back to your private practice? That's an excellent question. Thank you. Last year, I did my most public year mm -hmm. thus far, um, and. Uh, October kind of took me to a place where I had uh, four events wow. in four weeks. And then I just kind of was like, and I knew the the teacher training was starting right. sometime this year. So um, I was kind of like, that was a lot. I need some time to reflect on, you know, the places I've been, the people I've met, you know, where I'm at personally. And just the realization that my own being out of my space so often had disconnected me kind of from what it is that I do for myself, what I do. Cause a lot of my personal practice is woven around helping myself cope with having kind of a neuro spicy brain that doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense in society and how to navigate that and stay emotionally healthy and all that kind of good stuff. So not being connected to my practice can be, can lead long-term to, you know, detrimental right. health. And then all me. like, I'm sure my co-hosts and friends here can relate as well too, 
that when all of a sudden this also becomes a business, it, it's one thing when you're meeting up with friends for tea and coffee and exploring books you read and experiences you had, but then all of a sudden one day, right guys, this all of a sudden turns into an industry and a business, and then you add this other complicated, very challenging layer to it that is exciting at first, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, it almost can become consuming if you're not strong enough to push that mm -hmm. back. What do you guys yeah. do? Yeah. To Correct. Just, just set the, set time, really. You know, just set time each day for yourself, whether in the morning. No, like for me, it's about balance. One yeah. word. Yeah, it's you about, have to. You know, balance, and you know, it, since since the beginning, you know, we come from the grassroots of of all of this because it was not you know definitely james you've been doing this for, for over 500 years, years you know <laughs> <laughs> so you know i've seen it i've seen the growth of it uh, it's like turn into business so it's, like it's turned into yes. commercialized and sensationalized unfortunately and there's a lot of prima donnas and you know it's it's unnecessary but you know what you balance yourself <laughs> what are the things you, you do to balance yourself delivering like, serendipity the right message. explained like right from the get-go shaving head doing yoga for the next year don't bother me anyone i'm going in you, you Al met, alex is going to oh, shave his head next yeah week. <laughs> i'm going to shave my head i'm about i'm a close all right everybody actually, next this old witch we're all going to have shaved heads <laughs> <laughs> i'm down let's all do it together <laughs> we'll support you yeah, thank like, you thank you <laughs> james is about uh inner work beings with uh, you know meditation exercises that you know, people take it for granted. You know, the, the philosophy, the the Hindu Hindi philosophy of of exercises and chakras and all that um, is so important. Right, <laughs> I'm well, still here. Yeah, I can hear you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Too much Jameson. Uh, <laughs> so this is something that it's so necessary. You have to you have to focus yourself. You know, and and I'm in the trenches right. of healthcare. You know, as you know, you know, for so many years and, and, and looking forward to retirement, but I have five more years to go. So I want to give the best I can for my fellow men, for, for, for my patients. So this is, this is what I'm doing, trying to neutralize myself, balance myself so I could deliver the right uh, energy to my and patients and, and colleagues. And you well, make it, it, it sound it's, easier it's, than it is, right. Eddie. And that's what, what I wanted to say. <laughs> like he says, balance. Yeah, like that's like, just you go to the store I, and I you pick the balance, balance sauce, so, and then I'm done. <laughs> well, Eddie, because like especially speaking from yeah, a, no, yeah, no, no, uh, no, no, no. For love, for me, it, 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 but he's right though. It is about balance, but it, it's it's not so much. Yes, it's easier said than done, and many times because. You know, if you have work to do, if you've got things to do, promotion for the show, if you you, you have a um, a class coming up, you have to put together everything. Yeah, you prioritize, you but it's prioritize very hard. Your life and that's you easy know, for the and, Virgo and over here because they focus. like to make lists. <laughs> well, that well that's well that's just it. It's setting a list. Oh, right. That's right. I it's forgot. Oh, jeez. We're you too. Three. Oh, I'm outnumbered. Also, for I'm <laughs> here. Go, I have a I'm going to make a list, and then I draw a mermaid and go. Eh, I'm going to go get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> See, I make the whole list, and then I just don't do anything with it because I've got the Gemini rising the Saturn. So there's just <laughs> we're just a hot mess, and we're like, eh, we made a list. Secrets out, everybody. <laughs> See, Virgos, they make the lists. They don't always stick to it. <laughs> well, that's not no, so. I, I mean, I try to. Um, but you no, know, it, it's really, really setting a, a daily task list. It really is about right. set, making those lists. But for me, first thing, you know, get up, shower, because I don't like to go before my spirit's dirty. So, and then I take time, sit with them. That's my morning routine. And then the day starts. And I make sure that I set that time. I try every day. I can't say I'm perfect ever, you know, doing it every day, but at least three or four times a week to sit with them before I right. do anything and then move forward. <laughs> Unless I get a phone call from my good friend Alex <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've got to get rid of I've... my really, really cozy comforter. 
because this has been the curse for me because I used to wake up with the sun and do my daily devotions and meditations. <laughs> and ever since I got this really cozy comforter, that's it. My feet are wrapped up in it and I just can't get out of bed until, you know, nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> then then I got to snuggle up with the pug. My day don't start until, no, I'm busting your chops. This is good. And, <laughs> you know, what we're all saying for people who are watching and listening, this is a subject that, especially in the modern metaphysical neo-pagan world has been overlooked. I believe with the advent of social media, everyone is like, you know, Donna Reed ready. Like, we're just always doing this and we're just always good. But that's not always the case. We're not always doing this. We're not always good. And there are days of, of doubt and there's days of exhaustion and there's no. days of, you know, looking for the Absolutely. light. And, 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 and my life is not Doris Day. <laughs> you know what I mean? My life, my life is dealing with, you know, heading, commuting to work and dealing with the subway and, and vagrants and, you know, and then heading towards the operating room. So, so you know, that I have to center myself. I have to and tackle that, those stress points um, in order for me to deliver the right energy, the right, um, you know, message and, and, and performance. But so, and you have to have, you have to be, you have to be strong. But, you have to be strong. So and, important for people to hear yeah. because, you know, I know the three of your work. I've seen everything as a spectator. And when you're, mm -hmm. when you're good at what you do, when you eventually get, you know, to a certain level of polished and professional and, and you, you've got it balanced, other people, you know, they can see so much of our life now pre-social media. People would only see us at events, you know, they'd only see the presenters. They would only see the who's who at the events. You didn't know what they were doing the rest of the year. And now there's a lot of people who, you know, the three of you might highly inspire. And, you know, it just seems everyone projects these like high standards these days and put a lot of pressure on themselves thinking, oh, I'm not doing what they do. I'm not there yet. But the three of you are making good points that there's there's so much more behind the scenes and it is pulling Let yourself back. Let others be inspiration. Let others be that inspiration, but you don't necessarily have to follow right. their path. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Create your own. Do your own. What you relate to, what you in, you're, you're passionate about. You know, you, you get in, inspired by others mm -hmm. that have had the success, let's say. But still, you don't, you don't need to be them. You need to be you. And that's what's, what's the important Because I know, it's, yeah, I, I feel it. Like, there's yeah, a little bit I'm of... Waiting jump to jump in. in. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I, jump in. We're just loud yes. mouths from the Northeast. It, it, it's, jump in. <laughs> it's okay. it, it, because I know that public figure kind of gives you that little bit of... There's I, a little like... Yeah, yeah. so that, I, no, I, I knew that's where you were going to Well, I, honestly, what I wanted to say, too, though, is that's why in, in what I share online, I try to be really honest about, like, this is not... Um, it might look polished, it might, you know, that's because I have some desire to, like, I'm gonna make things to look nice, but that mm -hmm. does not mean my yeah. life is not a hot mess behind the scenes. And I try to be <laughs> honest about, like, we, I mean, in a lot of ways, my life is very stable. Like, it's not like, you know, meltdowns every day or anything like that. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's the best it's ever been, honestly, but it's still, do I do a practice every single day? No, because I have a work schedule that can start at 5.30 in the morning sometimes, might start at one o'clock in the afternoon the next day, might go till 11 p.m. that night. Like it's, it, you know, so I have to kind of dance in this chaos with that in particular. But I think it's, we're real people here. You know, what we see on social media, it's very easy to digest that as if that's a, uh, you know, who somebody is, these little snippets we're seeing, but we're actual people back here, like living lives and, you know, dealing with heartbreaks and challenges and, Correct. you know, and times where we're disconnected from our practice. Um, and you just said it, it, you know, we don't, we don't have time every single day to practice or to do these exercises, but we, we, we sometimes the psyche right, right away, you could be in the shower and you could actually be doing your mm -hmm. exercises psychic true true yeah right yeah, you know that's I mean? a that's a good point too the, in in our arena and in metaphysics and mm -hmm. you know paganism or witchcraft or the, the 
tumbleweed continues down the road the is the psychic portion of it is is the part that becomes the most important that you have the accoutrements you you do the ritual which is habitual to the point where you won't need the thing anymore they're nice to have and they're fun to use Correct. but then you're right it becomes you're in the shower you're driving in the car you're at the supermarket which is my least favorite thing to do and you could be Amazon doing prime what's that amazon prime <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people push me why are you going to the store you know just do it amazon prime and you know what it's less expensive you know what I'm Italian. I gotta touch those tomatoes. I really don't trust anyone. <laughs> oh no, out that, my tomatoes. that produce, yeah, those provisions, <laughs> yes. No, yes. But other things, yes, it's convenient with with uh you know, Amazon. So I yeah. you probably want to get into the to the ritual. Oh, yeah, I mean I I don't wanna interrupt it late. That's where it I was seems at. Quiet. I know. So I was like, they probably. This is the moment to enter. (laughs) I don't. I don't know that I want to make that appearance (laughs) (laughs) on this evening. It was supposed to start at eight. It's eight twenty-one here now. So I'm like, "Mm." but this is where you make that entrance that nobody forgets you. People, people, you know, the audience that wants to connect. You know, (laughs) I like that. How can they reach you? (laughs) Um. So I do have a website at serendipityweird.com, and weird is W Y R D because I couldn't, you know, obviously offer a name that was easy for anyone to spell Scottish. <laughs> um, uh, look i agree i my you're not alone we have our category here because mine's offset gypsy and in, in edinburgh <laughs> right in mm-hmm. edinburgh they have a shop w y r d shop it, it came from because i work with runes and norse things and all yeah. of that and and i like that the you know the verbal sound of it the audio sound is weird and i've always been a weirdo and I'm still a weirdo, <laughs> so it was just good to adopt that. But um, so serendipityweird.com. I'm also on Instagram. I have an abandoned TikTok. If you really want to see me sing a song about a hot dog once upon a time, um, and I have a YouTube that um, I hope to be reviving soon as part of my kind of quiet space that I'm currently in. Is to oh, you're of- really inspiring me. I know. I got to wrestle with all that stuff too, and I've had a YouTube. Yeah. I had a YouTube channel sitting there dead in the water for, I don't know, 100 years now. Exactly. Does um, anybody well, somebody, use Twitter? Somebody gifted me an amazing uh, tarot folding screen this weekend. Cool. So now I'm like, oh, oh wow. this is one of those universal folks of, like, <laughs> you have a backdrop now, you can't. Say you don't have a backdrop. The From the option. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So very cool. Awesome. Oh, I, I cried. Um, yeah, I had mentioned wanting it, and two wow. people who are very, 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 very kind souls. What do they call that? A, a, um, like a I call it a, like a, a partition, a, a folding yeah. screen. Yeah. So a room divider. A room div- yeah, a partition above with the with the tarot uh, decks. Yeah, it has it's a like lot of movies with cards. cards. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I now have a reason to create some of the videos that I've been avoiding creating. You know, in my like imposter syndrome and all of those kind of things that we all at least at some point deal with when we're, you know, doing things on the internet. So thank you for asking. Absolutely. Well, I look forward to seeing everything you come up with. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to seeing more from y'all as always. (laughs) Oh, no pressure. Okay. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I'm going to do it just for you now. That's it. All righty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Feel free to message me anytime and say, I did a thing. Go look at it. I will. I will. I'll hold you to it. (laughs) Okay. Sounds good. All right. I will skedaddle now. Awesome. You heard it. Ciao, ciao. Thank you so much. Clean those before somebody else. Yes, Yes, we do. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Your turn, Alex. You got to lick them now. (laughs) Me? (laughs) Summer Magic Fest. Yes. Just a fabulous, fabulous uh, event. Um, Missing what have the parties Evo. been like? Have you guys like schmoozed um, and mingled? I, well, and the first, the first night, the first night. Uh, he, all he does is sleep. Um, <laughs> the first night, so I actually, I wish I could sleep, but um, the first night, um, I did, and then you know we all kind of, um, we have this um, a presidential suite that we all, all the presenters and, and everybody gets to hang out. And, Oh, uh, fancy, so, bougie! So we, so we went there. Yeah, presidential suite. Where and, they uh, have it was like five o'clock in the and lunch for us, and we meet some of the uh, attendees, right? That have gold um, status. 
I yeah, I think yeah, they're, they're allowed. Yeah, they, yeah, I think they, they come in and they get to meet nice. with us, and uh, there's so many uh, presenters here. Um, and what a uh, great experience SJ for Tucker. Actually, yeah. I saw her last night. Yes, yeah, she's we, we, so yes. good. Yeah, yes, SJ Tucker. Tucker was here. We were trying to get her. Maybe we could get her for the show. Uh, at some point, yeah, I already talked yeah, to her. At some yeah. point, yeah. yeah. Well, oh, please, we're I would love to talk year. to her. Um, She's another in my rotation list on on Spotify in the yeah, car. Um, I was hoping to grab her, you know, but mm -hmm. um, with the timing and um, you know, and everybody not passing, and we kind of rushed in and, and did all <laughs> that. But um, but yeah, no, I mean, like party wise, you know, it, it's uh, Friday night was for me, uh, five o'clock in the morning. Um, all right, party animal. And then, and then yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what a party animal! <laughs> and and that was that but was the kind opening of about reception it. was wonderful. It was at a section of the hotel in the main lobby, and it open bar, and all the presenters and the attendees, and, and it just it's this great uh, feeling and love. And Alexian was playing his music, and so it was it was a, a gathering of all of us to start off. The send off to Summer Magic Fest. I will so, definitely get there in, in physical form next year. Next this, year. this sounds really next nice. Year. But you know what we should organize with Trish? We should do something with this old witch and all the other stuff that that we have going independently. But wouldn't it be fun? Is it? There's obviously a pool in this Marriott. It's Orlando. Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun to have like like a Mermaid Friday and like. Fill the pools Every, up everybody, with mermaids with and get to. Oh, I'd love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, she's you know she's she's learning too. Uh, this is her first hotel uh, event, so you know they most right. of the events that they do are outside camping um, and things like that. Yeah. So right. it's you know this is her first hotel. So she's still trying to trying to feel it out, you know, and, and Look, do that. That is you know, hard. That is it hard. is. It, it is come, hard. We come from the Northeast, where nature is is one animal, but nature in Florida is not human habitable. <laughs> I don't know. You can't just kind of like wander into the, the the trees in Florida. Like you, you can't do it. Well, I mean, you can. No. I mean, you can. Yeah. Well, sure, you right. can. But well, I mean, so they don't have any in the summer, so that's well, you that's can't. Just, the animals, right, the not, bugs. So that's why they should, they started they they started to do one right. um, at, at a hotel, you know, and, and it's in June, so smart. So they call it, you know, so they did that. So it's brand new for her as well. And doing it, I mean, sometimes you know, she's in the beginning. It was you know, I need some help with this. How do you you know? How do you do this? You yeah, know, because on, I've done these pro. things. Right, I've done. You're the consummate so, pro to go to this. Oh, so yeah, you know, we we had our conversations um, with that, and I still give her advice here and that. You know, after this, I'll give her my. Uh, my uh, critique and tell her <laughs> your vote, hey, your, your Virgo. Hey, I already told her. Yeah, no, I already told her. I said, I said, you know, because we were talking about, you know, like things that she could do, what's available, you know, and and when you're building a, an event like this, right, and I right, said, right. And I said, you know, you can get so much more, you know, but you have to, um, you have to go in because you're the one. Remember that you're the one with the power. Right. You're the one when it comes to negotiating and what you want, how you want your event to be within their hotel. You you have to go in and you have to have them dictate in your negotiations. You, we, you so know what? It's I just still a process for her, you know. A, a message up to the viewers and the listeners. This don't tune out right now during this conversation. This is important because it's important for people to know how much dedication, hard work, sweat equity, goes into, and money goes into putting something like this together. We all wish we could be Samantha from Bewitch and just wiggle our nose or genie and blink our eyes and this stuff just appears. But in reality, th this is months of planning, negotiating, and trying to get the perfect fit for both parties, both the, the, the event mm -hmm. space and the event itself, and to make it affordable for everyone to come and you know, it's it's a thing, and it's important for people to know what really goes on behind the scenes, so they appreciate their time mm -hmm. more when they're there. Because it's easy to nitpick and complain right. and bitch right. and whatever, but right. Well, because they also they're also seeing like, oh, I'm going to go to this class, you know. But how did that presenter get? 
to that class to give you this class. You know, right. you're there for an hour or two hours, but getting here, yeah. flights, bookings, you know, all the bookings, this is what the, the, the host of yeah, no, the event and, and, is doing, is, a, is putting this all together. Uh, you know, uh, you know, process that I had to have a, a contract, I had to sign it. This was a year ago. Um, Eddie came to me with a message, and then I spoke to the coordinator, um, Trisha, and now I bonded with her. She's a great friend. She's wonderful. You know, and and uh, the process of uh, getting here, yes. Uh, I got here on Tuesday and rested up. It is, it is a cute so, and beautiful yes. little area. The food's it good. Is. The scenery's good. Uh, the food is nice. great. Um, Eddie took me to this this wonderful restaurant. We had a great food. You know, just the people, the environment, um, so many things to see. Uh, yes, and the staple of hey, I Dream. Uh, they of even Genie, have I Dream so. at Genie Street. They have Major Nelson Street. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually, A one that uh, I just learned actually that A one A there yeah. right along the beach is now named after Barbara Eden. Good. Yeah, oh. I didn't even know that. It's Barbara Look, Eden Boulevard. To or the something. viewers I just and listeners it. who are just getting introduced to me and have no idea who I am. I'm a huge I Dream a Genie fan. I mean, the biggest, hugest I Dream. It's my absolute favorite television show. And so you can't you wait till you see. Oh, the I, I, I I've seen from this gentleman, this gentleman yeah, from no, I, California who does. I you know, know the him? bottles, but long before he came on the scene, I used to collect them. I've got a shelf over here of. Well, yeah, the genie, yeah, genie yeah. And stuff like that that you saw that Al Alex is uh, in Washington D.C. But the the one that um, you know, this is like a replica right, right. Of they the, paint the, he paints genie, them perfectly. So I had correct. So I have. Um, I got genie, from a memorabilia Barbara store Eden. down at the World Trade Center a hundred years ago an actual bottle prop, like it's solid uh, plaster, like it's not even. And it was the purple. Oh, wow. They didn't finish painting it, but it was primed the purple, like magenta it's a, color. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the purplish. It's more the the. the it's violet yeah, yeah. Violet might be the the color. the way. They they didn't finish putting yeah. the detail on yet, but it was a memorabilia show, uh, store. It was the prop from the show. I paid a fortune for it, oh, okay. and because I looked all over for that bottle, and uh that was my prized possession for years. Was that I had a genie bottle from the show, because. Oh no, and I have and I have no, the, the blue, blue gin, gin bottle is great. That was my first. My actually it's at my mom's house. That's the a blue gin. That's... And then I have the I Dream of Jeannie. So I'm so oh, you're Barbara still like Eden, I've, so I've that, never had that, a chance to meet her. I would have loved to have met her one day. Oh, I would have loved but, to meet her. Uh, yes. I love that show. Uh, the place where they lived, they had the house. And well, in uh, Cape Canaveral, Cape Canaveral, was, Cape the, Canaveral. Right. was the house, because that's where right, right by Ness, I wish. Yes. You know, that's well, what he was part of. But here's the funny and, thing: and all the that. set that they filmed that house, like the facade of that house, in. When you watch all old black and white TV shows, it's the same neighborhood as Bewitched, The Munsters, The Addams Family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they all lived on that block. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's one, all, one, all one lot. Block. It's all one lot. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I get we could end a little early tonight, being there's not we're probably not going to grab them today. They ran late, so it would probably be well after nine, um, before they, um, 8 35. Yeah, they started so late, started so they're late still, they're well. still going on and all of that. So we're not going to get anybody else to come out. I mean, we can, uh, what but, I have been trying to do is try to catch a couple people, so there'll be extra footage. Um, from all of this, but so. yes, the you know the the rituals in in its process. Um, but once it finishes, maybe we could grab someone. Yeah, if know, not, I mean, in. we we can. But I, you know, why stay on? You know, uh, we only have a we only have a little bit. Um, you know, so but you know, but we can go live um, and record it or whatever, yeah. and then put it out. Sure, for I look forward to seeing more. who you grab. I mean, because we 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 have Oracle. Uh, here we have definitely um and who else is here i don't even even i don't even know anymore we have so many people oh we've um, got a lot of people yeah well i mean Eagles, headliner wise Pearson, 
Oh, Nick, uh, he left. You guys actually have left, a right. lot of cool people there. Hold on one second. Let me just pull up the itinerary because I have it. And um, let's see. Uh, well, we talked to Yeshe. What about Stacy Williams? Stacy Williams. So, uh, she already had a class. I don't know if she's still here. I haven't. I actually haven't seen What about seen Kobe her. Michael? S.J. Tucker is here. Uh, Kobe, I believe you should grab here. him and talk to him. I mean, I found the the work with these plants he does interesting, and I I was hoping you were going to grab him so I could ask him a whole bunch of questions because I, I I his work is kind of interesting. He's taken a very niche uh, corner and seemed to do quite well for himself with it, and. Uh, you said you saw S.J. Tucker. Did you see her perform, or did you just talk to her? Yeah, I, I was able. I was able to for a little while. Did you record for anything? A little while. I stayed. I went ah. in. No, I did not. They're good. I did not. Um, uh, but I can. We we can always, you know, grab her. I she. I know she was willing to come on. So at some point, um, you know, like I said, most of this year we're mm -hmm. we're full. Um, you know, because we, we are only doing once a month um, now, so uh, most of this year is full. But I think I have a couple of dates, and so maybe I'll throw them throw them at her um, to see if she's available. Well, we could um, always do like mini shows on the side, <laughs> little fifteen minute yeah, things. Yeah, and see, yeah, yeah, little 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 tidbits, little things like that. Um, but yeah, no, I did get to see her. I did get to talk with her. Um, she's here with her partner. Um, and their son. Um, who else is here? I don't even know. Oh, and there's Alex. <laughs> there's there's Alex. This guy, Alex, who, who's. Well, you got to get prepared for tonight, too, uh, don't you? Yes, there yeah, is a, yes, I have there my is a robe, ritual. Everything is ready. Um, it's a summer solstice cabot ritual that I'll be doing. Um, so it'll be great to bond with these guys and, and have my, my, my dear friend uh, Melis Karn here. Um, <laughs> being part of the ritual as well. We were looking forward to having you, um, obviously, but you'll be there in spirit. I will. I'll be the one knocking things over and, so you know I'm there. <laughs> 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 but I want to give a shout out. This, uh, a couple of people have chimed in. And uh, there's Jamie Lynn. Uh, thank you very much for that. It's definitely a, a yes. We would love to actually share with you guys. And saudade do Brasil. Um, this is wonderful. Greetings from Brazil. Tout the bon, tout the bang. You know, <laughs> tout the bon, tout the bang. Tout the bon, tout the bang. We're, we're kind of far away from the screen, so the chat is a little far to see. Yeah. And my phone died, so <laughs> I can't see the chat. So, so that last, uh, the last one, what was the last name? Last one, yes. It's Jamie Lynn. Jamie Lynn. So yeah. Jamie Lynn, I I I'll re read what it says a little later. Um, it's there's a lot there. Well, it says blessed be from Reno, uh, mm -hmm. Nevada, I believe. I will agree about the difficult to put on events, and in fact, and he goes on. Um, about, I believe it's she. Oh, she, Jamie. Um, everything alone through, and that she has her own event, and she would like for us to participate. I believe. All right, road trip to Reno. All right, well, we, the best way best way to do that is to reach out to me. Um, it yeah. is oldwitch.podcast at mm -hmm. gmail.com. That's the best way because um, I'm not sure if I can get back into seeing the chat at some point. Um, and this is the first of this podcast that I'm with you together. No, uh, we had Witch Fest. Oh, we did Witch yep. Fest. Okay. We did, but we did, it was, we did that's, Witch Fest, too. And that was kind of public, like spotty. And, yeah, that was a public you know, event. All, yeah, that was a public, that was a public event. Um, uh, just like this one, but it was outside. Yes. So this is inside. Yes. I'm, I'm just civilized. You here. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of me being home. <laughs> <laughs> and all three of With us air conditioning. In. With air conditioning. With, yeah. with great... Uh, we're at the... Um, uh, Double Tree by Hilton. Oh, Double Tree! I thought you guys were at the Marriott for some reason. Yeah, no, uh, no, Tree. the Marriott Marquis is uh, for the Parliament in Chicago. Gotcha, gotcha. I, I had my hotel. Oh, the Double Tree. Yeah, that's a nice Double one over Tree. there too. Very nice, mm -hmm. very nice, and and very accommodating. Great staff, uh, wonderful people. You know, it's 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 great. 
great way to have an event here. Uh, very supportive. Oh, she must be a Cabot. Cabot family for life. <laughs> Jamie, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm here, sister. You you definitely have me as your brother. Uh, definitely okay and loves. That. Sorry, it's the screen is really far away, <laughs> so it's kind of hard. Yes. Uh, we're not used to. You know, normally, it's like you well, know, this is the for first me, time like, I'm doing I, a Cabot. I'm working on full membership. Oh, okay. No, I'm I'm actually here, and we're going to do a, a Cabot Summer Solstice, you know, directed by me, um, for for the event, and and I'm happy to do so. This is wonderful to share our love and magic with everyone. Oh, well, you guys you. better pull yourselves together and go get ready for that. Yes, I'm yes. looking forward to all of the extra videos and spontaneous chats you have with yeah, all the other I attendees a there. Things, I filled a couple of things uh, throughout. Um, cool. So the best, actually, wait, wait, I'm not going to put them on the on the Facebook. So if you do want to see some behind the scenes from Summer Magic, other than what we're going to be broadcasting, um, go to the Patreon. Uh, if you go to the Patreon, you'll you be go. able actually to see it. If you if you donate, you'll be able to see all the videos. There's actually a couple of extra stuff on there too. And normally we don't get to talk about it because the last one was our first one back. So, um, but yeah, like oh, we have the Patreon, we have uh, Instagram, we have Facebook, we have all that lovely stuff. Um, I don't have it in front of me like my normal notes. <laughs> I always have my normal notes, you know, um, with everything that's there. But we started we started back on Patreon again. But it's it's more a little bit more exclusive, so you will get like behind the scenes stuff. If we're at events, um, extra footage, things like that. Um, with I the Patreon, could, could, try it again. Um, also, for Witch Fest, I could actually do my part. Yeah, do a couple of recordings, and mm -hmm. we can put it up on the Patreon. But you're only going to get to see those behind the scenes if you donate to us, because that actually helps us pay for things like this. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so we have that. Um, actually, on there, you, with that, you also get um, exclusive um, uh, chat. Remember how we used to have that fan chat thing, Correct. which really did really well. Yes. Well, I moved it over to Discord, um, but you only have access if you join the Patreon. Um, we'll so look that'll at that. be the only way to get that access with that. And with that, again, you'll get to talk to me because I'll pop in there. Um, you know, now and then, and you know, if you have questions or if you just interest, or if I have questions for people to, to kind of go, all right, well, what direction would you like to see? Who would you like to see? Especially when we're planning for the year and, and all of that. So it's a lot easier than Facebook uh, nowadays. Um, so other than that, oh yeah, if you're all watching on Facebook, um, hit those stars because that helps us uh, as well. Um, other than that, you know, still trying to work out the kinks on adver <laughs> advertising and getting all of that, and we got jumped. We jumped right in this year, uh, second we show, and it's so, you know at a festival you know, live. And, and now so. that, that you know it's become a trio, we have James, and we have our merch, and the, this Ooh. old witch is. We have the merch. Does that yes. make us a thruple? A thruple. <laughs> 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 Pretty cool. A virtual throuple. A virtual throuple. <laughs> mm, maybe we should be on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be going to that platform next. Yes. <laughs> Live. This old wish <laughs> on <laughs> OnlyFans. Yeah. You get to watch me sexually eat a bagel with a lot of butter. It's the hottest thing you're ever going to see. It was, fu it, it was funny. With me, um, it would be lox and cream cheese. <laughs> I, I think I was talking to a schmear. Who was it? I think I was talking to. Am I <laughs> an SJ actually outside. Uh, I was I just happened to run in, and she had asked. I think it was SJ had asked, "What what do you guys you know? How are you guys going to do the show?" I said, "Naked." <laughs> she went, "What?" <laughs> like I said, it's so serious at that moment. <laughs> she was like, "It's like her face just went." <laughs> well, you know what, guys? I am naked. But underneath my clothes. Hey, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Your hey birthday sometimes, suit. I'm sure sometimes 
you know, we're on the show. You will only see up here. You know, you never know what's going on down hey, there. No. Sometimes I have comfort down there. Down there. I mean, it's the first time first time I've been with Alex in a while. You don't know where my hands are. <laughs> I, could, I could be wearing pantaloons right now. I could be wearing Fruit of the Loom tidy hey. whities You don't know. You just that, don't know. Hey, hey. Or just I would nothing. wear I would wear my suit jacket and pajama bottoms. You know, you don't know when I'm doing the show. Said, no, no. For three years now. Although right now we're live in the hallway of a hotel, so we are obviously we are dressed. The the uh, actually reception area for where where they have the great hall or you know the event. Oh, very cool. So everybody's seeing so, us. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, yes. everybody has shameless self promotion. We have, we That's, have now yeah. seats here with an audience. You know what I mean, and and it's wonderful to uh, be at Summer Magic Fest here. Trisha Parker, the coordinator, and, and Bobby Joe, who we've had on our Joe show, and, and, and Raina, we've had on our She's show our as well. She, uh, Bobby Joe, is an amazing lady, right? She's yes, the one yes, with Walmart. Uh, yes, with Walmart and she getting the Sabbath the things. Yep. With being able to get and the, getting the, recognition the for the Sabbaths. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right on. Wonderful lady. And I yep. met her husband her, that we oh, yeah, Dennis, Dennis, right? Dennis, so we had Dennis here. That's uh, Bobby Joe's husband. So, yes, just a connection of, of new friends that I've made. And I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. And it's a, it's a good thing to be away from those uh, that smog. <laughs> from new york yeah. city so how do you guys have been dealing with it it's it's well where i at right now it's it's blown away we had blue skies and puffy white clouds um when i okay. talked to my mother and my niece who live in hoboken they said that it, it calmed down significantly it's it's not as bad okay it's it's That's shifted it's moved too. yeah yeah it, it says that things are not as so severe as it was for uh i believe thursday yeah oh thursday, yeah that was uh, wild yeah, that was wild. it says that I told her I said do not leave the house, and the, you know she has some assistants that came to see her, and and uh, I'm really grateful. Yeah, that uh, it it didn't escalate. No, it it just it, it was uncomfortable. Unfortunately, you know, people who have illness or you know major asthmatics, I'm sure they were very uncomfortable. But um, you know, it was just wild to see. It was just so. Uh, you could see the sun, like you could look at the sun. It was just like a little yellow or white disc in the sky. It was like an orange yeah. sky, and it looked like correct. It looked yeah. like something from no, Star were, Wars. Movie. Friends were sending me pictures, and it was like a yeah. It was an orange haze. Yeah, yeah. it was uh, apocalyptic, as they as said. they said. Yeah, it was pretty wild to look at. Yeah. Well, other than that. <laughs> Are we good for the, are we good? I guess I think we we're, are. Good. we're good. We have a few minutes. A few a minutes few if you minutes. want to do it. But you know, everybody's still in there. They're probably not gonna get out. We gotta get ready for ours too. We're gonna get ready for ours. You so, are. I mean we do have to wait for, for any last time, minute anyway, it, but, like end of the show things everyone needs to know. Like when's our next show? Uh, Who's on it? Next show. Next month uh, is next month. It is I don't know what the date, but the if you go on Facebook it's all there. Uh, with the date, I don't know it offhand. It's probably around the same time, uh, 10th, 11th, I think. Um, we are going to have Patty Negri, um, the, I think, what was she, the, the Hollywood witch, the Hollywood psychic witch. I forget uh, how Hollywood she puts psychic, herself. Yeah. Um, What's her she's brain? been around for, for uh, quite a long time. Mm -hmm. She's within the paranormal. Um, as for the topic, I'm still waiting back for her to choose what the, our to topic is going to be to talk about. Um, but uh, she will be on. She was supposed to be on uh, last November, but then she had to cancel for uh, an event, and then we kind of took a break and things like that. So she's back. She will be on next month. A personality, um, a practitioner who sought after uh, throughout the community. So we're glad to have her on. Yeah, board. yeah. She's excited. I know that. Um, she's She has that new podcast, so you can check that out before she comes on. Um, it is the... Um, which is movie coven um the it's uh petty negri uh jc mankey who's also here filling in for evo dominguez um uh uh, uh what's his name richard lale i can't remember his last name but his real his first name is richard lale um He's a, he's he's an interesting character, and I'm actually I would love to have actually have him on the show because he's he's so very interesting. He and he's in New York too now. Um, and then uh, Heather Green, uh, who wrote the book on 
uh, Hollywood, which is and things like that. If you can hear that in the background, they're doing their, their what sounds like they're probably doing their wish ritual thing. There's a lot of chanting. Yeah, you can hear it for sure. Like yeah, the energy is rising. <laughs> that's for sure. So, um, but yeah, I mean, so that that's that's next month, and um, I think All that's, right. that's kind of about it. And anything going on with you? Let's see. I will be at Riverside Treasures in Milford, New Jersey on June 17th from 12 to 5 doing in-person tarot card readings with complimentary palm readings. And then I will be back in person doing tarot card readings at Islands of Adventure in Universal Studios in Lost Continent at Sun and Star Souls June 21st through the 27th. And there's a, a couple of dates that might be missing in there. Um, I'll be doing a corporate event tarot card reading while I'll be down there as well too and then lining things up for July awesome in the meantime you can always go to Osset Gypsy on Instagram and if you want to book a Zoom tarot card reading with me all the information's there you can pick up the Osset Gypsy tarot deck on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million and wherever fine tarot cards are sold there you go. No, um, I will be at, uh, you know, Witch Fest USA. Excellent. And and uh, I'm I'm happy to be there again to support uh, my own peeps, my my community. So and uh, D Raven Ashley. Oh, nice. Ashley will be there performing. So uh, that's that's going to come up on July seventeenth. July... Yes, or... I believe so. 17 yes so that's that's witch fest usa and i'll be teaching one of the classes there um at the event on astor place so you should come james i oh i love attending that like you know as a presenter and or you know there you have readings. in the past i think what's that you have in the oh past. yeah many years yeah, many many there. years yeah i'm an old alumni with that for decades yes. at this point <laughs> This so, year, I wasn't I, sure if I was going to be in Florida or in New Jersey or in New York, and I, I was, I, the, the, the deadline came and went, and I wasn't able to give an answer. So definitely, taking a break from all the events this year, I'm going to get I back on track anything. for that next year. I don't know. Oh, I can't hear anything. Wonderful, SJ Tucker. Oh, she's doing some music. She's nice. Nice. singing it sure. from so. her Blessed Be album. Well, go peek. Go so, jump in there and find yes, out. Yes, yeah, yes. Go get yes. some video. All right, so this is great. I, you know, I don't have my closing notes because I don't have all my notes and things like I normally do. But you can find us on uh, This Old Witch on Facebook, YouTube, Spreaker, and all of your favorite podcasts. Until then, we will see you in a month. I'm so used to saying two weeks. <laughs> Summer solstice <laughs> blessing to all. So used to saying two weeks. Everyone, have a wonderful night. Ciao. or not.